What's up traders, Julian here from J. Lewis Trading, and today we're doing a market recap on the S&P 500. You can see over the last little while, we've been talking about the zone resistance level that has been set, tested, and recently broken out. In the last couple market recaps that we've talked about, we've talked about this key level of 2790, first of all, breaking, and it has broken, and now you can see it's pulled back, and over the last five sessions, it's actually creating a bit of a bullish flag, which is quite interesting. So that 2790 has broken, it's pulled back, and it's essentially holding that approximate level of 2790 and its 10-day exponential moving average. And with that said, again, that five session period has created a bull flag. Now, what I suspect will happen is, is that 2818, the top of this five session bull flag high, uh, should it get broken out? We'll see probably a run up to this last previous high of about 28, call it 2840. Uh, the, the thing that I'm going to be watching right through here is the momentum. We've got a bit of a short term momentum. Uh, to the downside on the MACD histogram, which kind of measures uh, momentum. But I suspect that if that thing can actually turn around and we get a bounce off of the signal line uh, as in a hook, what we could see is this bull flag play itself out and uh, work its way up to that 2838 level. Of course, probably see a little bit of volatility around there. We might get some short-term consolidation, uh, which would, could potentially get broken out of. Uh, at 2838, in which case we would then start testing all time highs of 2869. Now, the key importance of this level is that this is the highest level that the S&P has ever been at. This is an all time historic high. And the big question is, what's going to happen when we get back up to that level? Are we going to break out of 2871 and set new all time highs? Or are we going to run right into um, that level, creating resistance, also a double top, which is terribly bearish? Um, time will tell. We'll be, uh, we'll be tracking the S&P, and I'll be updating you guys on a regular basis with what's going on in the S&P 500. But as it stands right now, that key level of resistance has been broken out. Price action has seen a short-term high of 28.16. It's pulled back. It's created a bull flag and is holding that 27.90 breakout level and is now creating what's called a switch. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. Don't forget to check in. There are a number of stocks that I'll also be reporting on uh, on recent trades, two of which I did today. If you want to get access to the alerts and check out some of those trades, in the description box below, there is a link that you can click and sign up for our Ask a Trader webinar, which is free. It's 100% free. It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and you can connect with us and see our overall market view of the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and what some of the core materials are doing. And you can also check in and see some of the market moving stocks that we've been trading to the upside or to the downside. Again, there's a link just below in the description box. Click that, sign up for Ask a Trader. It's 100% free and you'll get invites to our webinar that we host again on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you feel that this is something of use to anyone you know, by all means, send this along. We'll see you in the next market recap.